Welcome to 1336 E News, where we are on the way. Writing the scripts is Colton. Zach introduces the interviews. Holding the boom mic is Grant. Our director is Annie. The weatherman is Darren. Aiden debates the issues with Mickey. And your hosts, JJ and Mitchell. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to 1336 News, where we are on the way. Jumping right into the stories for the day, we are proud to announce that Marissa Rosemsky will be awarded the 2013 Academic Excellence Scholarship as a result of earning the title of valedictorian for her graduating class. But don't forget John Wagner, who won the salutatorian title for his class. Great job to both of you. On to more student news, the high school students of the week for the month of April were Regan Anderson, Brandon Eatsman, Anna Perrin, and Blake Voss. The middle school students of the month were Alex Sinda, Megan Mansky, and Michaela Wallace. We, we would like to grant congratulate all of these students in their accomplishments. With more news on the seniors, they took their trip, class trip recently and it was a blast. Our seniors visited Florida for this year and went to destinations such as Universal Studios, Planet Hollywood, Downtown Orlando, and the Magic Kingdom. Their graduation ceremony will be held at 2 p.m. on Sunday, May 22nd. Be there to give them a pleasant welcome into the rest of their lives. Moving on, the FBLA took a fantastic trip to Chula Vista in the Wisconsin Dallas for their participation in the state FBLA competition. Although none did advance to nationals, they had a great time and learned a lot about the FBLA organization. In middle school news, the 2013 Science Fun Festival and a hands-on display of science projects made by the students will be in the cafeteria on May 22nd from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Students there will show their projects to younger kids and help them learn a little bit more about the projects. Wait a minute, did you hear that? How can I not? Well, see you next time at 1336 E! News, where we are on, on the way. Don't forget to sign up for summer school. It starts in the second week of June. I see you are teaching math, science, and any other classes? Yes, I'm also teaching one called Mind Games. Can you tell us what some of the things you plan to do in that class? Sure. Mind Games is for middle school students, and we are going to learn how to play some different kinds of games, like categories and Boggle and Phase 10, and we are going to learn the strategy behind those games to get you thinking a little bit more about them. What about Mad Science? Mad Science is for the younger kids, K through 2, and we are going to be doing some science experiments here at school, and then we're going to think about them and write about them and maybe do a little math with them. Thank you for those times. Those class sounds very fun. Hope to see you there, Darren. Uh, I see you're teaching So What and Kids Kitchen. Could you tell us a little bit about those classes? Sure. The So What class is talking about um, how to make a quilt, the basics of using a sewing machine, how you can use a sewing machine, and then our end project is make a quilt. And we do look into how we can donate quilts if we have extras by the end of our summer school. Huh? Sounds fun. Mm -hmm. And the Kids Kitchen. Kids Kitchen is working with basic cooking skills meant for the younger age group as well as looking at nutritional needs. While they're younger, so we can look at the food guide pyramid and how we should be eating. They also learn how to make simple foods they can do on their own, like smoothies or how to do a small omelet. Um, or they can do big things like they make homemade pizza. That's our big end of the summer project. Sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for your time. And You're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Miss Stips. May we have one minute of your time to conduct an interview? Sure. I see you were teaching kitchen technology. The next scene with Spielberg and some 
Well, the Get to Know technology is for third through fifth grade, and that's going to be learning all kinds of things about computers. Uh, a little bit of photo editing, how to take photos, how to play with them and make them look really cool, how to uh, do Prezi and capsules, some online presentation tools that are a lot of fun and creative. Uh, and then we're also going to be doing a little bit on Word and PowerPoint. And a little bit of keyboarding every day. I know not every kid wants to come into summer school and keyboard all the time, but we're going to spend a few minutes just practicing every day because I don't want the kids to lose that. That class sounds fun. Now, what about your other class? Uh, the other class, the next Steven Spielberg, is for middle school students. And that class, uh, we're going to be learning a little bit about um, online ethics and some cyberbullying pieces. Then we're going to be learning how to make videos and edit them, and we're going to produce some of our own. So it's a class focusing on movie making. Those classes sound really fun. Thank you for your time. Hello, Connie. We'd like to interview you about what you're going to be doing this summer for making lunch. What do you think you'll be making for lunch this summer? It's going to be like cookout food or like regular school lunch? We'll have some cookout food, but mostly it'll be like the regular lunches that we have. The stuff that your kids like to eat. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. And now for the weather. This is Derek, your weatherman, and this is 1336 E News on Wacky, Wisconsin. Okay, on Monday it's going to be cold and rainy. Okay, then on Tuesday it's going to be nice hot and maybe even a chance of 25 degrees. Which is actually pretty cold, but I call it hot compared to that other day. And then, Thursday, on Wednesday, it's going to be 285 degrees. So you better wear that sun tanning stuff and wear your bathing suits. And make sure you're in water at all times. Otherwise, you're going to be freezing. And then on Thursday, it's going to be nice and hot and sort of cold. It's going to be around 70, the normal degrees. But then on Friday, it's going to be 285 degrees again, which is actually translated to 100. And this has been 1336 Wacky Wisconsin News. And now for the great debate with Aiden and Mickey. Hello, and welcome again to The, the Great, great debate, debate 2! With your favorite debaters, I, Mickey, and I, Aiden. Today's debate, the fancy mechanical pencils versus the classic regular pencils. You're up first, Mick. Don't call me Mixter. I said that last time. Jeez, anger issues. Yet, I will accept your proposal to go first. One good thing that you don't have to do you don't have to sharpen mechanical pencils, which also means that the lead is always centered. Man, do I hate that. I mean, I go up to sharpen my pencil, and the pencil tip is all wood, and all the lead is off to the side. Wait, aren't you supposed to re be representing regular pencils, not mechanical? Well, uh, I want to represent mechanical pencils, but cruel, cruel fate. Ah. I see. Well, your turn. Thanks. Well, regular pencils are a lot cheaper than mechanical pencils. That means you spend so much less money on regular pencils. So little that teachers may even give you one for free. Teachers are so cheap. Oh, well, looky here. We just got someone who just lost about 20 Facebook friends. Now, coincidentally, all teachers. Ha ha ha. I don't even have any Facebook friends that are teachers. Really? Because I have 30. Dude, there aren't even 30 in this school that you would know. I lived in Student Point for a year, remember? Oh, right. Your turn. Thank you. My second point. Mech pencils, mechanical pencils, never have to be thrown out. Whoa! They are indefinite. They have refills. I cannot process such unbelievable data. Upgrade your hard drive, CB. CB? Cyborg. Ah. Your turn, doofus. The toy. My second point, regular, hard, regular pencils are much harder to break. The pencils or the lead? 
the lead. You can't really tell the difference between the strength of plastic and wood. The lead on a regular pencil is in a, is in a solid triangle shape. The shape on a mech pencil is in a stick shape. A solid triangle is much harder to break than a stick. Can you stink a joke in there? I don't know. This situation is much harder than normal. Even the great Aiden Whitman, president of Whitmania, cannot sneak a joke into that sentence. What's Whitmania? My room. And the hill outside my house. Cool. My turn. Let her rip. My final point. Mech pencils have a much larger variety of styles. They come in every shape and color. But that means students might worry too much on how the pencil looks, rather than the quality of the pencil. Your turn. Also, my final point, the erasers on regular pencils don't make things kind of sticky when you erase. That does it. You can once again gmail thoughts to me. Want the address? Watch our last episode to find out. I'm Aiden. And I'm Mickey. And this is Batten. Aiden, Aiden and, and Mickey's, Mickey's Great, great debate. debate. We out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on 1336E News, where we are on the way.